Hello everyone, I am Ritika Ori from Management List. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a filter to get all issues from an active sprint. So let's get started. But before that, in brief, let's see what are filters exactly. So filters are nothing but just saved searches. That is, to be really precise, they are the queries saved for certain searches so that the person who creates that filter gets benefited from it and also other people who want to see the same search result are also able to use it. Filters are used widely in Jira. I can't imagine any project working without using filters. For example, filters are used in release reports, filters are used on dashboards, filters are used to find out something from your project and there are much more use cases of using filters in Jira. If you want to know more about filters, you can go through one of my videos created earlier. I have added the link below in the description. But for now, let's see how to create a filter to get all the issues from an active sprint. I am currently into the backlog of one of my projects. This is clinic management. And if you can see, we have sprint 8 open over here. And let's go to active sprints option here on the left hand side. And you can see that there are issues in this sprint out of which two are in progress and three are in to do status. So let's create a filter to get these issues into a filter as a search result. So what I'll do is I'll go to the filters, click on view all filters. Let's click on this create filter button on the top right of the screen. Now here I'm going to write my query to get all the issues from the active sprint. If we see by default, it was written order by created DESC, which means descending. So what it's saying is whatever the search result you will get will be shown in a sorted order such that the issue which has created in the last will be on the top and so on. We can leave this part as it is if we want our results to be in this specific order or what we can do is we can remove it as well. So for now I'm keeping it as it is. Let's search and we can see that we have eight issues over here. But in our project clinic management, we saw that there were only five. That is because the results are being fetched from multiple projects over here. As we can see, we have different project short IDs associated with them in the results. So we can write this query if we want to get all the issues from active sprints from multiple projects. But let's say I want it only from a specific project, then what I would have to do is I would have to specify the project name. So let's embed the project criteria as well in our query. So remember that the order by clause will be in the end of the query. So now let's add our project name as well over here. And yeah, we have five issues over here from our project clinic management. Let's once again go to the project clinic management and verify that the issues are correctly picked or not. So we can see CM10, 11, 7, 15 and 4 and here also we have CM10, 11, 7, 15 and 4. So with that we verify that the issues are correct and we are getting the issues from an active sprint for a particular project. Now let's save the filter. Always provide the right name for your filter 
so that everyone who looks at the name of the filter gets to know that why this filter has been created and they get a better idea of where they can use this filter okay so filter active sprint issues since it is for a particular project i am adding the project shot id as well over here submit so the filter has been created for us let's click this details button now if we look into this small window it says heading it says that filter is only visible to you and filter is editable only by you so i don't want to do that i want others as well to get benefited from this filter so what i'll do is i'll just click on edit permissions so and here i have an option to change who all can view and who all can edit this filter so i'll start with adding a description over here okay now i do not want only me to view this filter i want everyone in my organization to view this filter so i'll just select my organization and click on this add button now let's say i want a particular group of people to edit this filter so i'll just select group over here then and here you can select that particular group okay so i'm selecting site admins it means only the site administrators can edit this filter let's add and save it now this filter has been saved and being provided with the correct permissions this can now be used in your dashboard to get issues from active sprint so in many dashboards also you want to show the issues from active sprints it's like a common practice to show the issues from active sprints to your dashboards so what you can do is go to the dashboards view all dashboards and we have a dashboard for cm project okay let's just open it and let's say you want to add a gadget for the newly created filter over here that is you want to show all the issues from active sprint into your dashboard then just click edit button over here select filter results and now you can select the filter which you have created for active sprints so this is filter active sprints issue cm which we created just now and then we have what number of results we want to show we can show a maximum of 50 issues at a time and then we can configure what all columns we want to see let's just save it and now we can see the issues which we got from this filter here as well so that was all in this video thank you so much for joining in and if you haven't subscribed already please do consider subscribing bye for now